Let him speak little. Let each speak as much as he knows. And he who knows nothing, let him at least teach his neighbor one virtuous deed by setting him good example and refraining from playing dice and from fornication. And that applies both to priests and to you, brothers and sisters. That's his conclusion. That is all I heard in Prague. Amen. That spoke well, considering what a soak he is. He's right, that was. The young man shouldn't drink so much, but the Lord's given him a silver tongue. I don't suppose I'll ever get to Prague. I told him nicely. Well, well, my boy, you have talent, and I can't deny it. And you pulled a thorn from my side. I almost didn't make it. Yeah, I noticed. Well, I wasn't the only one. Well, what's to be done? I'll make it up somehow. So, about our bargain. Although it's a sin. Uh, so gluttony. And fornication. God does forgive a penitent. So, what did Limpy Lubosch tell you? Was he at Neuhof that day? Who was with him? And, and, and where are they now? Now, slow down. I'm sorry, but he didn't tell me that much. Don't let me down after all I've been through. For you? Well, now Lubos came to me shortly after it happened. And his conscience was gnawing at him. And I must say, uh, in the end, he turned out to be a better man than he looked. He said they'd been hired through some crony of theirs. And at first they were just to steal some horses. But then it all turned sour and people started getting killed. And neither he nor his cronies wanted anything to do with that. So they fell out from the gang and fled. Fell out? Yeah, there was a body found in the woods by Neuhof. Um, that would explain something. Uh, Lubos kept jabbering that he wasn't a murderer, that he didn't want to do it. So I know that Lubos killed the murderer and he's dead too. The trouble is, I need to find the ones who are still alive. I need names and places. Did he mention any of the others? Uh, only nicknames. Uh, he talked about some fella called Riki from Ledechko. Pious. Timmy. Pious. <laughs> that lot are about as pious as I am ordained. Nonsense. You would make an excellent priest. <sighs> and anyhow, with your skills, you ought to be able to sniff out this Riki from Ledechko, right? <laughs> well, we'll have to now. There's not much else to go on. Let's hope he's not hanging from the wall, too. <sighs> Indeed. And I'd hate to be excommunicated for nothing. Anyhow, good luck. You watch out for yourself. These people clearly mean business. And I'd like to raise a tankard with you again sometime. Yeah, I'll try. Although I'm not sure I'd survive another night of your debauchery. And if anyone should ask, you heard nothing from me. I'll deny everything. I don't doubt it. Jesus, look where you're going.
God be with you. Miller Peshek from Ratai sent me with this ring for you. A ring? Here it is. Useless fucking bauble. You must be Henry, right? Peshek told me about you. What the... Why did you throw it away? Do you know how much trouble I had to get it? Peshek said it was important to you. Like I said, it's a piece of junk. It was just a test to see if you've got the balls to work for the miller. It's a custom of ours, testing fledglings in the trade with a nice little wild goose chase. We need to see if you'll be hobbled by pointless principles, or if you're willing to use your head. Congratulations. You passed the test, and now we'll have a few jobs for you. What am I to do with these things I pilfer? No one will buy stolen goods from me. Buying and selling stolen goods is a crime. But if they're worth something, I can make sure they're... Uh, properly cared for. Not that I'd buy them from you, but I could uh, store them for you. And you'll get some coin for taking care of them before. So if someone loses something and I happen to find it, I can bring it to you to store and I'll get Groshen for it. That's the arrangement. Do you need help with anything? Just in time. There is a certain matter I need resolving. I have some scores to settle with the commander of the Talmberg Guard, and I want to get my own back. You may have heard that Sir Robart of Talmberg is a stickler for having all his gear neat and tidy. The commander of the Guard? Sir Robart? I'm already confused. Just tell me what I need to do. It's like this. I want you to break into the Talmberg Armory and steal a few Waffen rocks with the coat of arms on them. Ah, and once Sir Robard finds some of his guardsmen's equipment is missing... He'll see to the commander of the guard, who's the only one with keys and answerable for their safekeeping. When Robard finds out he's losing things from under his nose, he'll have him whipped. And I'll get what I'm after. Satisfaction. Take at least five Waffen Rocks to make it a proper stink. Consider it done. What am I to do with the Waffen Rocks once I have them? I'll burn them to get rid of the evidence. Just make sure you don't get caught. Swim.
I'm looking for someone they call Riki. That's the tenor's son, Hine. Where can I find him? Hard to say. He's not around here much. Thank God for small blessings. He could try his fork's place. What can you tell me about this, Hinek? What can I tell you? No, he's none too popular. No one cares to talk to him. Why not? Well, I'm not one to gossip, but I heard he keeps bad company. What's the Tanner like, Hinek's father? The less I see of him, the better. He's not exactly sparkling company. Why do they call him Riki anyway? Why do you think? Because he's a tenor, of course. So why don't people like him? The old tenor's not an easy man. But his son should never let his father down. Hinek does nothing to help. He's always far too busy with his own affairs. Though I wouldn't like to say what those are. And does no one at all talk to him? The harlot of Della hangs around with him, of course. Harlot? She works as a bathhouse wench. Same thing. What was that? Jesus Christ be praised. I'm looking for a fellow called Riki. Have you ever heard of him? Why wouldn't I? That's what they call my son, Hinek. Ah. You wouldn't happen to know where he is, would you? I don't know nothing. Don't you at least know where he usually goes? It's important. Hinek shows up at home once in a blue moon, so I don't know nothing about where he gets to. Even if I did, why would I tell every Tom, Dick and Harry? Listen. Your son's in serious trouble. I'm trying to help him, and my patience is wearing extremely thin. If you start answering my questions, this is going to go a lot better for everyone. Are you threatening me? And I'm supposed to believe you want to help Hinek? Believe what you like. I'm concerned about Hinek, but I really don't much care what happens to you. Is that clear? Fuck it. I'm not going to take a beating on account of that good for nothing. So? There's not much I can do for you anyway. Hinek came here, but he left right away. Where did he go? You better give me something. You really don't want to waste my time. Hinek makes some money on the side from poaching. He boasted to me a few times about what a great hideout he found in the woods, but he never told me where it is. Well, it's not much to go on, but it's better than nothing. Thank you. Don't you have any clue at all where his hideout could be? I really don't know nothing about that. I could tell when he'd come from there, is all. How's that? Because every time he brought some hides for tanning and money. He had money because he sold the stuff right away? I suppose. He never kept any of his loot here. Do you know who he sold it to? No. But the innkeeper came here now and again and gave him coin. Of course, it could have been for me. All right. I'll ask at the inn then. Good day to you. What do you need? So you know this Hinek. Can you tell me something about him? Not much, I confess. Most of the village folk avoid him like the plague. Why is that? No one with a nose likes spending too much time around tanners. And that Riki keeps bad company. I've never heard a good word said about him. What can you tell me about the old courier? He's as cantankerous as a hog in a thorn bush. He won't talk to anyone. Why do they call Hinek Riki anyway? He's a tanner, isn't he? If you're ever downwind of him, you'll understand. Tanning isn't a trade for the weak of stomach. True enough. 
But not every courier gets cursed with a name like that. Well, Inix nature's no sweeter than his smell. Why has he got such a bad name? Hmm. Well, like his old man, he doesn't talk much to anyone. And then he's always skulking off somewhere. I heard he got a taste of the pillory in Ratai for thieving. And in Neuhof, he got boozed up in the alehouse with his cronies and they beat up some merchants. So a bit more than high spirits. Just so. We're all honest folk here and we've no use for the likes of him. Don't tell me there's not a single person who talks to him. He's been seen around with one of the bathhouse wenches. Adela, I believe she's called. What's with the targets? Are you an archer by any chance? I notice you're asking questions. Are you the Inquisition by any chance? No, I'm Henry of Scalitz. From Scalitz? I'm Vatek, from here. Why are you so curious about the targets? It's just that I sometimes try my hand at archery too. Try your hand, do you? <laughs> I know plenty who do. When you can score as high as me at chumps, then I might be impressed. I've got no idea what you're talking about. Never played chumps? And you call yourself an archer. All right, Henry, listen up. Chumps is a game for real archers. It tests your strength, stamina, and accuracy. And it can be a nice little earner. Unless you're, well, a chump. So what exactly is it? I'll tell you. A bunch of logs are floated down the river. Then you count to 20, and the archers run along the banks after the logs. At the end of the course, someone collects all the logs and counts the strikes. Whoever has the most, always meaning me, wins the bout. Each archer has 20 arrows with their own colored fletching, and the contest ends when the last log floats through the finish line. Sounds like good fun. Fun? My friend, it will bring you out in a proper sweat, and you'll be well pleased to hit just one or two blocks. So how about it then? Fancy a bout. You'll need your own bow, but I'll supply the arrows with colored fletching. What in the Look where you're going. I heard you've been seeing Hinek, the tanner's son. So what? Come to preach at me, have you? That I'm a loose woman, a sinner, that I seduce decent men? God, no, nothing like that. It's just that you're the only one in the village who sees Hinek, so I came to ask you about him. I. I've seen him often enough, but I don't know what I could tell you about him. When did you last see him? A few days ago. He came to me late in the evening, drunk. And that was unusual? I never saw him drink much. He always came to me sober. So he was acting strangely that evening? He was strange. I had the feeling he was afraid of something. He keeps prattling on and didn't seem to care about you-know-what. So I threw him out and I haven't seen him since. Can you remember anything he said that evening? Oh, I'm not sure. He went on about some fellow called Lubosh who died. That he was regretting he ever got into it. But he never said what it was. And that it wasn't worth it for the money. Aye. And then he was talking about the money. That was very odd. What did he say about the money? Just that he had a pile of it hidden behind his house. I see. What did you say to that? What could I say? He was drunk. He kept saying I was a fine girl and other harlots wouldn't go with him even for money. And if I wanted, I could even take half the money and leave. Or he'd go with me, and we could get married and such. All just poppycock. Did you go there for a look? No. I've got better things to do. Obviously he made it up. Where would a layabout like him get so much coin? Yes, I understand. Did he tell you exactly where he hid it? He said he buried it at his father's small holding in the western corner. All right, thank you. Where can I find Hinek? I have
haven't seen him in the village for a few days. He must have run off to the woods again. Does he do that often? From time to time. What the hell does he get up to there? I... I don't know. He goes to the woods from time to time. That smells fishy to me. What do you mean? There's no law against it, is there? With all the footpads, looters, cumans and God knows what other vermin around, it's not the sort of thing an honest man would do. But Hinek doesn't have anything to do with those people. Oh, really? Then what does he do there? I don't imagine he's gathering mushrooms. I really don't know what you want from me. So Hinek is a bit odd and sometimes he goes off into the woods. So what? I found out that Hinnett goes poaching in the woods and he's got a hideout there. What do you know about it? Um. Don't worry. Hinnett has much bigger problems than being caught poaching. And you're not involved in it anyway, are you? No, I'm not. It's true he used to go hunting in the woods sometimes. When he came back, he'd usually come to me. That's all. Do you know what route he took? At least the general direction. Anything that could help me find his hideout. I think he usually went through the woodcutter's camp, because he always brought me freshly chopped firewood, and he had wood chips on his boots. Good. So at least I know where to start. How did you know he'd been to the woods? He always talked about what he caught, and he never came to me at other times. Probably didn't have the money for it. Do you know who he sold it to? He never told me straight up. But who could he sell it to? The innkeeper, I reckon. It makes sense. For sure. Is it true? What? Other whores wouldn't go with him even for money. The other bathhouse girls are honest, so I don't know. The truth is, I felt a bit sorry for him. Folk don't like him, but it's only because his old man is a grouch and a tanner. So you only felt sorry for him? Both of us are the black sheep of the village. There's nothing more between you? No, nothing. Maybe Hinnick thinks differently, but that's how it goes. Good day to you. What's happening around here? Ah, you know how it is. Always something. Now I think of it. I've not seen Kunhuta here for some time. The local herb woman. She always comes here once a week for a tankard of ale. But she ain't turned up recently. Well, nothing's happened to her. And that's not all. Especially at the mill. Not a week goes by without some ruckus there. But I'm wise to them troublemakers. Whenever they're planning some mischief, they're always huddled there in the corner, hatching their plots. Like yesterday, for instance. I want to ask about the courier's son, Hinek. But ask someone else. I have nothing to do Here. with Riki. Enjoy. It only drives my customers away. <laughs> really? I heard a different story. I heard the two of you do business together. Who are you, anyway? A friend of Hinnick's. He's gone missing and I need to find him. I don't know where he is. But if you find the bastard, tell him he still owes me some goods. I don't give a damn what deals you've been doing together. I won't tell anyone. I just need to know where Riki is. It's urgent. What have our deals got to do with where he disappeared to? More than you think. 
It's likely Riki is hiding out at his poaching there. And believe me, it wasn't hard to find out who was buying game from him, and it's even easier to go to the castle and tell them. Poaching's a crime, after all. All right, all right. But give me your word of honor you won't tell anyone about our deal. You have my word. Fine. So, what do you want to know? I hear Hinek has a hideout in the woods he uses for hunting game. Do you know where it is? Not exactly. That is... I don't know where it is at all. But? But I happen to know it's a dark place. A cave or an old mine shaft. How do you know that? Whenever Riki was going poaching, he always came to me first for candles and lamp oil. He brought the game skinned and gutted, so he had to have a light for that. And do you know of any mine shafts nearby? There's a few of them around. There's one on the opposite bank, a short way off the path leading from the forge to the west. Then there's a mine gallery to the east of the village, uh, up in the woods above the cliffs. And I heard there's one shaft on the headland close to the water. Thank you. You're welcome. Watch you don't break your neck, though. It's rough ground, and you could easily fall down a shaft. I'll bring it right away. One beer. Have you got a bed for the night? Aye, there's room here. For how long? How about if I pay you for several nights? All right. Money up front, though. That's too much. I'll have to think it over. Suit yourself. <laughs> 